This year's NBA season has officially come to an end with the Golden State Warriors defeating the Boston Celtics in six games to win the NBA Finals. The season was full of drama and storylines like the Lakers missing the playoffs, the massive James Harden for Ben Simmons trade, and Steph Curry finally winning a Finals MVP trophy, the one award that eluded him his entire career. While this season was one for the history books, next season is sure going to be just as if not more exciting. Plus, now with the draft out of the way and free agency getting set to begin in just a few weeks, what better way to start the offseason than with some way too early predictions? Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel, where today we're going to be going over our early predictions for the 2022-2023 NBA season. Sit back and enjoy. First up, Lakers miss the playoffs again. This one might not be a big shocker for everyone, especially after how much of a disaster the season was for the purple and gold. Anthony Davis was injured for a decent stretch this season, and Russell Westbrook was an absolute disaster of an experiment. The former All-Star team clearly did not have good chemistry, and they've wasted a lot of their future picks for another chance to win now. Things are looking bleak for the Lakers next season as well, as Anthony Davis has reportedly not touched a basketball for several months, and Russell Westbrook has used his option to stay with the team for next season. With Davis's health becoming a major long-term concern for Los Angeles, they may be without half of their one-two punch that helped this team win a championship in the bubble. There are rumors that the Lakers are going to push hard to get Kyrie Irving in a trade, which would certainly put them back in the conversation for playoff contention. However, the Lakers have little to no pieces left to trade after the last few seasons and are in a very tight situation if they really want to make that trade work. Long story short, things are not looking good in LA right now. Next up, Joel Embiid finally wins MVP. Some would say that Joel Embiid was snubbed in the MVP race this season, losing to Nikola Jokic for the second straight year. Those people would have a case, as the former first-round pick put up an incredible 30.6 points per game, 4.2 assists, and 10.7 rebounds. Embiid was single-handedly willing the 76ers to the top of the East for the majority of the season, and finally got a little bit of help after the Harden trade. After Embiid went down with injury, you could tell just how much the 76ers lineup was hurting without him, going to show just how valuable that he is to the franchise. It's safe to say that Embiid is probably looking for revenge after another heartbreaking playoff series loss, this time to the Miami Heat. A very hungry Embiid is going to come back better than ever and walk away with the MVP trophy with ease, especially if they end up trading for Kyrie Irving. If Embiid does win MVP and Kyrie ends up in Philly, it might finally be the end of the process for the 76ers. Now, if this doesn't happen, we would rather not have the entire city of Philadelphia ask for our heads, so please don't hold this against us. Next up, Jabari Smith wins Rookie of the Year. The Rookie of the Year conversation is always a fun one, and now that the draft is out of the way, we can look at some of the top contenders for the award. Obviously, you have the number one overall pick in Pablo Banchero, who dominated at Duke, averaging 17.2 points per game. Then, you have the 7'2 tall giant that is Chet Holmgren, who is a monster in the paint for Gonzaga and lethal from three at times as well. However, the Magic and Thunder are going to regret not taking Jabari Smith first or second overall, as the forward from Auburn will dominate his first season, taking home the Rookie of the Year award. Smith was a beast on both ends of the floor for Auburn in college, averaging 16.9 points per game and 7.4 rebounds along with averaging over a steal per game on the other end of the floor. He also shot 43% from the field and a very impressive 42% from three. Jabari will have a lot of opportunities to showcase his talents for a very young Rocket squad, especially with the recent departure of Christian Wood. It leaves a lot of openings for the young stud to slot in on opening night. The Rockets team is certainly going to be an interesting one to watch as a new young core is starting to emerge with the likes of Smith, Kevin Porter Jr., and Jalen Green. Houston may not be a contender this year or next, but certainly expect them to surprise some people this year, especially with Jabari Smith taking home some fresh new hardware. Now it is clearly way too early to tell what's going to happen next season in the NBA, as the offseason has just begun and there are already several rumors swirling around who's about to go where. There will be several more storylines and plenty more predictions that will come out as we get closer to the regular season. But until then, we can only wait with immense anticipation for the first tip-off of the 2023 NBA season. Unfortunately, that's all the time that we have for today's video, so thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss another video. We'll see you guys next time.